Is it time to start buying these big alt art chase cards again? I'm going to tell you guys all about it. We're going to dive into a bunch of them. We're going to use some examples and I'm going to let you guys know what I think if this is like the time to strike. So if we look at this Charizard card as the first example, we'll pull up the six month chart on TCG player and you know it, it peaked up around just under $200 for this Charizard and it was at like 117 before and now we're at like 130 like 120 range currently. Over the last three months, we've seen it decline nearly 30%, and we're finally starting to see the tiniest uptick. It went from 128 to 129, so barely, not really an uptick. It's just kind of leveling out. But when we look at this chart, how much more, like, I, this is this going to retrace back to where we were before? I feel like this is, in my opinion, we, we're at the bottom. Uh, keep in mind, though, just for transparency, uh, when I'm saying this, it is and if you're looking, listening to other people's videos or other people talking about this, nobody knows for certain, okay? I just want to be upfront. Like, this is just my opinion. So use your best um, judgment, you know, with your money, how you spend it. But uh, it seems like we might be hitting that bottom um, on these, on some of these alts. And we're going to take a look at, you know, some other cards and, and see where they're out. Not every card is at 30% down from its uh, one-year high. But, um, yeah, if we pull up the one-year chart here... I mean, you could see we this card was at 130, and its lowest was 103. So um, we definitely are still above this lowest point, but I I just don't see this card um, going any lower than this. I think we're at um, a point in the market where so many people are waiting. Um, they're waiting for the Team Rocket sets. They're waiting for new stuff to come out. Um, it's very cyclical. I used a carousel analogy before, and it might be time that some of these alt arts start coming back around the carousel and people start grabbing them. So um, that's just, just my take on it currently, especially with the Charizard. Um, we'll just take a quick look here at PSA 10 sales because uh, I do like graded cards. I do think that it's interesting um, to, to take a look at these here. And what I find interesting is somebody got a real steal here at 258 for a 10. Um, I know the pop cart, the pop count, excuse me, is high on this card. It's over 10,000. A lot of this card graded, but um, we've seen with uh, the Moonbrion, tons of other cards um, that the pop count doesn't necessarily, especially when it's a popular Pokemon, it doesn't mean that it can't have high prices. So um, a big card like this can easily um, have a higher price. This is a steal right here. Whoever got this at 258. Um, an absolute steal. I can't even believe that this is going 270. Um, in my mind, I think in a 10 that this should be at $500 minimum card um, in the future, and hopefully we get to that point. Um, but yeah, this is this is the aftermath of that big retracement. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at the Gengar uh, from Fusion Strike. So you guys can see we're down 25% almost uh, on the three-month chart. And yeah, this this card was at over 400 bucks. It's dropped over 100 over $100 um, in this last three month period, which is just crazy. Uh, if we pull up the one year here, you can see, so this is kind of the stair-stepping effect that I, that you want to see that usually is healthy, right? So you can see this card was around, it was in the 200 range, right? And then it had a big run up. And now it's it seems like the market is settling around 300. So it is possible that this card could continue to go down, but um, with where we're at right now, with what we're seeing, this looks like this is where this card's going to level out. And, and for how long will it be here? How long will these cards just kind of level out? We don't know, but uh, usually we'll see this level out and then it's going to go on another run. Um, it could take some time for that to happen, but I think we're at um, an, a buying period for some of these alt arts. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of good opportunity in the market currently. We'll take a look at the PSA 10 sales here on eBay. Five sub 600 now, um, which is crazy um, considering what they were going for. A lot, just like high fives. Pretty consistent on the Gengar in a 10. So um, if you're looking at picking up a PSA 10 copy, you know, that's kind of what they're going for. Um, another card that's, you know, taken a bit of a hit in the last three months uh, is the Lugia V from Silver Tempest. Beautiful looking card. Um, Currently around 165 raw. The peak here was at 228, um, so 15% down on three month. Um, pulling up the one year here, you can see uh, it's kind of the same thing. Like this, uh, it was at 150, right? And it's it stair stepped up and now it came back down to 160. So it's still above. This is you know above its uh, previous one year high before the big run up. So uh, might be another another opportunity to pick up this Lugia um, before it, it takes off. And 
when I say that, like, I don't know what the time frame is on when these will come around, right, and be come around on the carousel and become popular and start taking off. Um, you just never know. But I think that uh, this this might be a good entry point. Um, it just I was just at a local card show. I was seeing a lot of movement on stuff, and it just seems like it's a really good time to buy with prices being down. Um, quick glance at the PSA 10s. We're going at three thirty, around three thirty. It's kind of what we're seeing here. Um, somebody got a good deal here. Best offer accepted. We don't know what that is, um, but yeah, around three thirty, three fifty. Um, somebody sold one for four hundred, but um, yeah, and I think that is a kind of a steal on that card um, too. Let me take a look at the Giratina, uh, one of my personal favorites. I do have this card in a PSA 10. I'm not looking to sell anytime soon. Um, it's staying in my PC. I don't think I'm ever going to sell it. Um, but down 15% on three months. Um, it was about to crack 500 uh, raw, which is pretty crazy. And it's it's still pretty high. It's up in the three high threes right now. Um, there was a sale right here uh, for just like 400. Um, pull up the one year here. Now, this is uh, looking like a much more healthy, uh, what I was talking about, that stair step. Back here, we were at 280, and then it you know, it went to like just almost 500, and now it's at just below 400. So a nice healthy stair step there with a little bit of decline here. Um, not a whole lot over the past like month-ish, but um, this might be, might be a good time to pick up the Giratina as well. Um, just saying. <laughs> So yeah, that's just kind of that's kind of what I'm seeing, is that uh, and it's not on all the cards. You're gonna see that it's not every it's not every alt art. It's not across the board. Um, sales right here. This card was selling at one point for a thousand and ten. So um, might be once again, it, can it get back up to those prices? It, they all certainly can get up to and past those recent highs. Um, it's definitely possible. So just if you're getting uh, if you're getting here and this price is six fifty is a good entry point. Um, anything closer to 600 is doing really, really good on this card. Um, then we have the Blaziken. Now here's an exception to the rule, um, and this might just be a little bit of a TCG player um, thing. There's not many sales on here, so I like that they included this. You can only see there's just a few sales in the last three months, uh, according to their chart, right? Um, so you're seeing an uptick of 12% up, um, but if we pull up the one year here, yeah, see this chart's looking a little funky because there's this card is really hard to pull. There's not that many out there um so yeah different looking chart um can't really go too much off of this one just because there's not enough data but not every alt art is uh you know still on the decline and then we got a psa 10 sales on ebay 375 400 so anything sub 400 is doing really good on this card this card is really tough to pull um not the i'm not the biggest fan of the artwork but i do appreciate it so anyone out there who likes this card um you know, nothing against you guys. It's a, it's a nice looking card. Uh, then we'll take a look at the big dog here. The big dog Umbreon, um, kind of in the same boat of just not as many sales. You guys can see it's just a few here and there over the past three months, but um, we're seeing a 15% uptick uh, on the Moonbreon. Pull up the one year chart. Uh, one year chart looks like it's still just kind of on a steady rise from this low here um so yeah once again it's hard to know with limited sales like this uh so keep that in mind uh you know a little bit one of the outliers but uh psa 10 sale prices have been around 1200 pretty consistent um i'd be interested to see how low this one was this best offer but um yeah a little higher but it seems like 1200 is kind of where the market's accepted this which is crazy I, honestly it's insane but um, it does give me some uh, hope if this card can do it. Um, you know, other cards hopefully can start creeping up into that territory or somewhat remotely near it in the future. I think the Giratina um, has a chance to do that long term. Um, here's another card that's bucking the trend. Uh, it's but with not that many sales on TCG, so do keep that in mind. Uh, up 18% is the Machamp V from Astral Radiance. Pull up the one-year chart. See this, and this chart's looking a little bit different because it's just just on a steady rise right so um but if this was the rise before and it dipped down it's on a rise up again so um similar pattern but just a little different on there psa 10 sales i mean dang somebody got a good deal here around 225 um, we're seeing a lot of sub 300 260 260 range seems to be about the going rate for the machamp v in a 10 
then another one that's just same thing, just not a lot of sales, but steady upcrease of the the sleepy T-tar at 28% up almost. Um, very, very interesting here. So I just, I wanted to show these other cards just to kind of show that like, it's not all one thing, you know, it is, there is, uh, the other side of the coin here. There's nothing that goes just generally right like that. Um, there's always exceptions, but on the one year, this was as low as 80 bucks and it's still just kind of creeping up 107, but like we did have a, we have some sales here at 130 and 142. So, um, very interesting there that would move this chart quite a bit if this was at 130 or 140. So, um, yeah, I think with the lack of sales, the, their charts just looking a little off, um, uh, PSA 10 sales are sub 200. We're going to kind of like the high twos. Um, somebody got a good deal at 240 here. Um, so yeah, high twos on the sleepy T tar and a 10. Um, then we're just going to transition over real quick into a few of the, uh, scarlet and violet top cards just just to kind of just take a quick little peek see here um i know it's not the same and it's in it's a different era and it's in a different time so it's you can't really compare but i just wanted to touch on these just quickly uh the greninja obviously still on an absolute tear um 275 they're saying 280 is the market price uh you can see some sales here at 2 285 but one as low as 230 so it's a little weird but you can see a lot more sales obviously um in the past three months so um, the most expensive card in Scarlet and Violet currently. Um, and then uh, we're just going to take a look at this one too. Uh, this was doing some some good numbers from Paldean Fates. Um, I think this was battling the, the Magikarp um, for second most expensive. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that. But around 120, but they're only saying one, two, three, what, four, what is this, four sales in the past three months. So, um, you know, just keep that keep this uh, chart with a grain of salt here, but came, yeah, it's something's off here for six months. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with their, with their charts, but, um, they're showing, we're, we're seeing 116, uh, would be the sale 116 to 120 range on the Charizard from Pal Day and Fates. So that is going to kind of conclude um, this video on the alt arts, I think it, it potentially is a very, very good time to be looking at picking up some of these cards. Honestly, um, if if you would, if you want to wait, you know, I could totally understand uh, waiting a little bit longer. It, it's so tough. It's so tough to time the market. And anybody who tells, like I said, anybody who tells you that they know for certain, they don't. They're lying. Okay, I, and and I've never. I try to never claim that I know for certain. I'm just saying that it just seems likely that this could, these could be good uh, entry points. So always uh, do what's best, you know, with your money and be smart about um, what cards you're picking up. But it just it seems like enough time has finally started to pass on some of these declines and things are leveling out. And something else I wanted to touch on, uh, which could be interesting, is sometimes uh, things kind of go as like i could see the market going as the moonbrion goes like the moonbrion will take the market right or you know similar things right um when one thing moves other things go with it um you see this a lot with the stock market as well it it, it can depend and it can vary but um so when we're seeing these big cards where they're at you know the smaller cards usually tend to follow depending there's always exceptions to the rule so um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to touch on, um, just something that I, I, I really started to notice at the, uh, at the card show that I was at and just when I started just checking prices and stuff and just, I was really getting that vibe, like this might be a good time to buy a very good time to start loading up on some of these singles. Um, there's a lot of those chase alts that I don't have still, and I'm going to be looking into it, uh, like right now. So I'm um, probably going to be pulling the trigger on some of them and then might be waiting on a few. It really depends. I'll, I'll do a deeper dive on it. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.